Hi and welcome everyone back to the channel. I'm Carlos and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use the pen tool with an illustrator to stack up basic shapes to create a cartoon character. This is a video that was recorded from a live stream that I did and I will leave a link to that so if you want to see the entire live stream. And what we did in that live stream we did an ask me anything and I did a giveaway for an XP pen 22 inch drawing tablet and everyone decided that we were going to do a tutorial on how to use the pen tool. So I wanted to take the tutorial part out and have that as a standalone video as well so that way uh, if you don't want to watch that three hour live stream, uh, this tutorial is really long too, but we, it was a very detailed uh, tutorial and people were asking questions while I was making this cartoon character. So I hope you enjoy. We're not going to do the intro or anything because this is long enough. So here we go. Did you make your company logo and vectors? Yes, I did. Um, we can probably take a look at it real quick. This is my company logo. And we can take a look at um, go into the layers and see how many layers it takes to make this. If I wanted a little gray background. But yeah, this is just a series of simple shapes. So if I, for example, that little shadow down there, all that is, if you come up here and you get the ellipse tool, double tap that little swatch there you can select your color so this is your fill and this is your stroke so if i make a circle now you see that let's zoom in a little bit you see that the gray the fill is on the inside and that black is on the outside so now with this shape selected if i double tap that black now I can change that to, I don't know, a red color. And then we're able to actually, if I were to, I can, I can move that up here. You can resize it with these handles. And uh, the cool thing about vector graphics is if I zoom in real tight, you see that these are still, still super crisp and clean. Hit the Alt key and drag down, I can make a copy. And then I can actually scale that up, way up. And if you did this in Photoshop, this image would get pixelated. But because these are vectors, it's still very crisp and clean. So the neat thing with um, that they're doing with uh, Illustrator is if I have these two shapes, I can select them both. I can come to the Shape Builder tool, and then I can just click and squiggle like this and now it's the same shape so this is a really good way if you wanted to get into comics and you wanted to make um word balloons we can come in here and do like this but let's turn the inside white get up there and we're going to turn the stroke black Okay, now if I wanted to, I can either use the pen tool. I'm going to click and hold down and drag out. And you see how those handles came out? Now I'm able to come over here. I can, if I just click with no drag, it'll turn it into a point. But then if I go back to that point, that anchor, I can hit the Alt key and drag out. And now I get another handle and then if I come up here and click and drag and then click to close that shape now if I hit the a key or come up here and get the direct select tool I'm able to click on these on these anchors and we get these handles and now I can actually make that look a little better now we can go back to our shape tool Oops, sorry, I have to have both of these selected. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to get the selection tool, the very top one here, or V is the shortcut. Select both of these and then go back down to the Shape Builder tool. Now I'm able to come in here and do like that. And now it's a word balloon. So then we're able to then get the text tool and type, Hello, everyone. 
drag that in place, maybe make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to go to my properties and I'm going to change this to, I have a comic book font. What's it called though? Digital strip. There you go. And we're going to be getting into like, um, different applications that we can use to make, because if some of you guys are, uh, trying to make a web comic, for example, I'm, there's plans. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to, how we're going to do that. Um, so then even, even if we're here, I can still come up here to the direct select tool or, or tap A, and I'm able to come back here and still be able to affect these, these points here. All right, let's go ahead and grab this and move this up here. Yes, the pen tool is witchcraft. Um, let me see if I have a, a, a sketch somewhere that I can use. And just to show you guys, <clears throat> what I did was I found an image on my computer and then I just dragged it to Illustrator. If um, another way to do that would be if you went up to File, Place, and then you're able to find the image that you're going to be working on. Um, and then in Illustrator, if you have multiple things on the same layer, but you want to spread them out, I'm going to click on this, um, on the dolphin drawing, right? And you see over here, there's a blue, little blue dot. I'm going to click that little blue dot and drag up to the new layer. And now that image is on its own layer. And this other stuff is on that layer. So now I can lock that. So now I don't, I can't select it anymore on accident. I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to grab this, bring it up here. Now I'm going to lock that and create yet another new layer. And before I forget, save as on the desktop. Okay. And now let's do this one. This one has a lot of really nice shapes. The pen tool, it, de it depends on what you want to do. If you want some of these, um, varying lines, the varying width of the lines, you can grab your, uh, you can grab your stylus. Uh, you can grab your stylus, right? And you know how I get with my styluses, especially the little container that the stylus comes in with the XP pen. I'm going to grab my stylus and then I'm going to come over and grab the brush tool, hit properties, and then if I come in here and I start drawing, it can be very, um, very natural look. You can also, uh, there's a way to come in here and do, um, um, like varying line widths, uh, but that's for another time. Maybe I'll do a minute, uh, um, what you call it? Minute masterclass tutorial on that. Uh, but let's do a pen tool. We're going to be a little more exact. So now to do the tail, what I'm going to do is, well, actually let's do this. I'm going to double click on layer two and you get the layer options. I'm going to click template and then it's going to dim my image down to 50%. You can take that as high or as low as you need. I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to go back to the pen tool. And if I make sure I'm on the correct layer, let's name that dolphin sketch. I'm going to name this dolphin. OK. What I'm going to do is, well, first off, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fill because if I leave it on, when I come in here to do all of the shapes, you see how it starts to block the artwork. Um, and a lot of times that's fine. Like if I'm, if I'm trying to real quick, just draw some shapes to see, you know, if you're, if you're working on a logo, um, 
you know, sometimes just drawing some shapes like this real fast. Uh, sometimes that helps get your brain in the process of, of getting creative. Um, can you change the stroke? Yes, you can. Um, uh, DT is asking, can you change the stroke of the pen tool so the black, so it's not black, so it stands out more? Um, yeah. Let's do this. You can do it uh, any any number of ways. Once I have my once I have my shape down, I can actually come over to the properties and then increase the black that way. And then if you really wanted to get uh, if you really wanted to get crazy, you can you can click on this little ellipse right here and it'll give you the appearance panel. I could actually come in here and add yet another stroke. And for this one, let's say we wanted to do a green color, but I'm going to bring that opacity or the, uh, the, the stroke down so we can see. And if I take this stroke and I make it go up, now you see how you can have multiple, um, you can have multiple strokes on there. So if I wanted to go absolutely crazy, let's go ahead and do another one and change that color to, I don't know, that color. Can we even see that though? Maybe if we drag that down here, maybe not. Anyway, so there's, there's different ways to, uh, to increase the, uh, the, uh, the stroke width. Um, oh, that's why. Let's get that out of there. And let's bring the stroke down to about a two. Okay. So now let's address this black magic of the pen. We don't need the appearance panel. Go back to the pen tool. So now um, you can do this a bunch of different ways. I'm going to go ahead and click here and turn off the fill. Um, when you're using the pen tool, if you click and move your mouse, it's going to be a corner. I'm going to click again and then move the mouse, click again. But if you click and hold down and drag, you get that curve there. And I'm going to come over here, click, hold down, and drag again. And now we're getting these curves. I'm going to, and then once I get to the end, I'm going to close this shape, but I'm going to hit the Alt key. I'm going to hold the Alt key down and click and drag again. And you see how now we have our shape. And those are the two different ways to, um, to, to, to make... Uh, these anchor points. Um, you can either click and just get that anchor point down in a corner or you can click and drag. You can actually, that's a lie, you can actually do a third one. If you click and drag, and if I come over here and hold the Alt key down, you see how it turns into that little uh, triangle there? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to do. If I click and drag, it creates that anchor point. I click and drag again, it creates that curve. But now if I hold the option key and click on that anchor point, it turns the second half of that anchor point into a corner. So that's nice and straight, and this is nice and curved. And if we hit the A key, or again, we come up here to the direct select tool. Okay, so those are the three ways to make uh, anchor points and shapes. So 
we're going to come in here and the, with the new skills that we can you join separate lines with the pen tool like if you create yeah um let's do this let's take the line segment tool click and drag and then i'm going to click and drag now i'm going to get the the pen tool again and i believe if i alt click here on this anchor point you see how that line is there? And I believe if I, there we go, I'm gonna click on that anchor point and now it's, it's, it's all one piece. So yes, there, there's definitely a way to do that. Um, and that would have been DT. I might cut that part out and make it a minute masterclass because that is definitely um, that's definitely a really good. Uh, what's gonna happen? Oh yes, you guys. I'm using Ecam for this live stream, and Ecam is pretty legit. Um. Okay. So yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, so now with the skills that we have, we have three different ways to create our anchor points. So now on this dolphin, I'm going to start down here at the tail. I'm going to click and drag out because we have this curve. And the neat thing with Illustrator these days is that nice little cheat code or that little cheat curve that we see there. So now I'm going to click and drag again. And I'm not going to worry about sticking to the um, sticking to the curve perfectly we'll get around to that um, we'll get around to that when we finish this uh, this shape so here down at this point here now I'm going to hit the alt key again I'm going to click and drag back up this way and then I'm going to click and drag here hit the alt key click and drag to change the rotator the uh the angle of that curve okay now we're going to maybe zoom out just a little bit so we can i'm gonna click where would that be what happens if we click way up here and then did that and right now again i'm not going to worry too much about uh, I'm not going to worry too much. I'm able to adjust these curves uh, when we're done with this shape. So I'm just going to click here, alt, click and drag out, click here, alt, click, drag down. Uh, how do we want to handle this? Let's do this one. We'll do here, alt, click, drag down, and... This one's probably going to be better here. And then I'm clicking, or I have Alt down. So when I click on that anchor point, now I'm able to adjust that curve down that way. Now I'm going to come up to the A, or uh, the Direct Select tool, or tapping A will get you this, the white arrow. Um, the white arrow lets you, put, uh, lets you pick different parts of... Um, of a shape that you're doing. So if I wanted to adjust just this, um, this anchor point, I'm able to select it. But this selection tool, if I click on that one, the black one, if I click now, it's going to select the entire thing. So that's the difference between those two. So I'm going to make sure that I have the white one or the empty one. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm clicking uh, on the nodes, or uh, not the nodes, but the anchor points. And now I'm able to come in here and really finesse these guys. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Now I can take this and drag it out. And, oops. And now the cool thing about working in vector is even though the stroke is down already, I could try to just grab, I could just try to grab this handle here and pull it way out. And that works pretty good. But now you have to balance all of these anchor points. But what I could do too, is I can grab the pen tool again. And if you come over to that path, 
right when you're on that path, if you notice there's a little plus sign right under the pen tool, if I click on that, I get a new anchor point and I go back and I tap the A key or the direct select tool. Now I'm able to take this one and drag it into place and I have a little bit more control. Um, and down here, down at the base of the tail, this part here, it, right now it's a bezier. So if I move one side of the curve, it will move both sides of the curve. So what I'm going to do is I'll select that anchor point. Again, I'm going to hit the Alt key. And if I move this handle, it will break that bezier. So now I'm able to really adjust that curve on the right side of the anchor point and not bother the left side of the anchor point. So again, I'm able to come up here and adjust that a little bit. Okay, so now up here, I'm gonna click on that anchor point. I don't necessarily want to break this curve because the top of his head or her head is should be round. And if I break it like that, it's going to be an anchor. It's going to be a corner and I don't want that, right? So I'm gonna hit Command-Z to undo, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit. And I'm gonna try not to affect the right side of that anchor point, but I'm gonna to try to get it close. And again, if I hit P for the pen tool, if I wanted to, I can click right about there, hit the A key for the direct select tool and drag this out just a little bit. You see how we're starting to manipulate the, the shape and the strokes and really getting it fine-tuned. Uh, don't worry about getting it perfect when you're putting your, your, uh, your anchor points down at first. Um, just get close and you see how you can come in here and really adjust these. So now I can select this guy here. Um, we see here that this one only has one handle and it's going down. What I'm gonna do is hit the Alt key again. Actually, I'm gonna make sure that I have the pen tool. Hit the Alt key and drag. And now we have two handles. Now I'm gonna hit the A key for the direct select tool. Hit Alt. And I'm gonna bring, or for Windows it's uh, 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 Alt key, Mac is Option. Both sides lining up. Strange thing happened when you play with black magic pen. Exactly. <laughs> DT says, strange things start to happen when you play with black magic pen tool. It's cursed, I tells you. Actually, the tutorial is helpful. It's gotten me pumped to try. That tree was a drawing I can... <laughs> That tree I was drawing can go to hell. Okay, there we go. So now we got the the rough outline of that dolphin. Uh, now what we can do is I'm gonna get the pen tool again. I'm gonna click up here and then drag down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag over here because I don't wanna accidentally click on anything and ruin anything. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna hit the escape key. So, uh, and what that did is it stopped the, um, it stopped the, the next uh, anchor from happening. So now I'm able to hit the A key again. I'm gonna select this anchor point and drag it down into place. And now I'm able to grab this handle and smooth that out. And maybe we drag that down just a little bit. But you see how I don't really worry too much about getting it perfect. That's the cool thing about working in vectors. Oh, boom, there you go. Sorry. Here, this is what I did. I had this, I had this anchor point up here 
And what I did was I drew a box around here. I selected that anchor point and I just dropped it into place. And if you have your snapping on, and I believe it's under view, uh, to snap to point, right? Make sure that if that is checked, what you do is you can grab this anchor point and drag it into place and it'll snap into place. And now I'm able to grab this and put it like that. And then I'm able to adjust this here too. If we wanted to give them a, a bigger smile, we can get, you know, super drastic, but uh, let's not get too fancy. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good, I'd say. Okay, so now get the pen tool again. I'm gonna click and drag, click and drag. Hit escape to stop drawing over there. I'm gonna click and drag, come down here, click and drag, and then click and drag up here. And I don't necessarily, well, maybe I do wanna close this because if I click here and close it, um, I'm able to then, I'm gonna get the A key and start adjusting this, putting everything in place. If I take this and drag into place there, same thing on this side, I'm gonna hit the A key and grab the right side of this anchor point, this handle here. I'm gonna break that curve to fit it a little more uh, perfectly. And you know what? I don't know. Let's see what happens if I, no, we're going to need this here. Um, let me tell, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you why I was somewhat hesitant with creating this line up here. If I select that line and I hit delete, it's going to delete that line. And so everything lines up perfectly, but to fill this in, I can, I can click the, the color of the stroke and drag it to the fill. Oh, it actually worked. So there, yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty quick with vectors. Um, usually, usually what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just, and um, like, I know a lot of the shortcut keys, so P, A, V, all that stuff. I'm able to just come in here and really just pop these things out, hit escape, come in here, turn that off. Um, using vectors is very, once you get the hang of it, once you understand how it works, it gets, it gets easy and it gets faster. Okay, so now let's work on this eye real quick. I'm gonna do a combination of things here. I'm gonna take and make a path for this lower part of the eye. And I'm not gonna worry about this top part too much. Let's grab this and move this into place. And you see how we can adjust this. get that like that, right? So now I'm going to grab the pen tool again and because I want their I want this dolphin's uh eyebrows or uh, sorry, the uh eyelashes to be a little more stylized, what I'm going to do is that and then I'm going to hold the option key down, click and drag down click there, option key again, so we can get the curve around the top of the eye, option key again to close that shape. And now the A key, I'm gonna grab and move that down here. Thanks for stopping by, Rob. Ah, Linux. Yeah. How was that food? What'd you have? Where are you? Where are you guys from? I want you guys to notice this corner here, how it's, it's not pointy. We can address this in a couple different ways. If I click on this anchor point, there's this little circle right here real close to the anchor point. If I took that and dragged down, you see how I can adjust the anchor or the uh, the the sharpness of that 
of that connection. Actually, what I'm going to do is click on corners here, click on rounding, or any one of these, because what I'm trying to do is, oh, you know what I should do is... Is this where appearance, let's click on stroke. Here we go. And what I did was what I'm looking for is uh, I want this, um, I want this angle. Okay, so for this angle here, what I'm going to do, and the reason why it's rounded off and it's not quite adding up, um, it's because the, 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 I need to change some of the, um, some of the settings for the stroke. So I'm going to come down here to this ellipse. It says open in appearance panel. And then I'm going to click on stroke. And I want to make sure that it's um, this type of corner, but I want to play with these caps to see if that does anything. That didn't really do anything. So I'm going to keep clicking around in here until I find, oh, you know what I need to do? Um, you see this little arrow? It says swap, fill, and stroke. If I click that, it's going to take the, it's going to take away, it's going to swap. Whatever you have for the fill is going to become the stroke, and the stroke is going to become the fill. And there we go. Now I'm able to grab that and put it in place and then zoom out a little bit. So yeah, so now we can come here and now we adjust this. I'm going to go ahead and click the A tool or A key. And now we're able to then come in here and grab these handles like we've been doing all day. Bah. And this is a good thing too. Um, if I have two uh two anchor points and i only need one i can actually click on that anchor point and then shift and click on the other anchor point and make sure that they're both selected now i'm going to go up to object path average and what that's going to do is it's going to take a look at where the location is for this anchor point and this anchor point and it and I'm going to click that and then it's going to ask me, do you want to move it horizontal or vertically or both? I'm going to click both and click OK. So now both of those anchor points are stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I know, right, DT? Um, now I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to go back up to object, path and join. Selected cannot be joined as they are invalid objects, compound paths, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I can't do that. But they are, it looks like. Okay, well, here, here's the other way of doing that. I don't need both of these, so I'm going to hit P for the pen tool. If I hover over that anchor point, there's a little minus sign that shows up under the pen tool. Now if I click, boop. It goes away. I'm going to hit the A key for the direct select tool. Select that. Again, I'm going to hit the Alt key and grab that handle and pull it up. And now we're able to adjust our shape. And if we do it just right, that's a little whack. That's a little, you know. It's a little rough, but for now, I think it's I think it's good for now. I think we get what I wanted to show you guys is how you can um, how you can mix shapes with strokes to create an eye. Now, what we can do is if I select this shape here and I go to our fill, I'm able to. If you double click here, you can, that's a shortcut for getting into the color picker. Click OK. There we go. And then let's do the same thing here. I'm going to select the body shape. 
I'm going to double click and it's a pinkish color and you see how it's coming together. Now let's say that I really did fall in love with this eye. I can, I can click the eye brow and the eye itself. And if I hit on the Mac, it's control or uh, sorry, command G for group. Uh, PC is control G. So now I'm able to take both of those shapes are in a group. <clears throat> so I can do everything from move it around. Uh, and if I wanted to edit it, I can just double tap. And now I'm inside that group and I'm still able to come in here and adjust the shape the way we've been doing from the beginning. And now the cool thing is what we can do, since this dolphin has two eyes, I'm gonna click on the V key for this selection tool. I'm gonna to select that eye, and if I hold down the Alt key or Option key, depending on where you are, I'm gonna click and drag, and now I made a direct copy of that eye. And I'm able to move this eye kind of in place, and then if I right click and I say Arrange, Send to Back, and now we can adjust this, and I can even click and resize that eye. Oops, we don't need the whole thing. There we go. And now here we have, a, we have an eyelid over here, so what I'm gonna do is, I'll just grab the pen tool, and I can keep all the settings, all the same settings. I'm just gonna click and drag up and over, and then again, Alt key to break that curve. And I'm gonna close that shape. And we can adjust it a little bit if we wanted to. But then what I'm gonna do is hit the V key for the selection tool. And then again, right click, arrange, send to back. So you see how you see how you can build um, you can build uh, your characters or your illustrations just by random shapes, um, and this this is what the professionals do. Don't let them don't let them trick you into thinking that they that they lay this thing out and everything is perfect. It's not. It's a bunch of different shapes that they've stacked up, and at the end of it all. Um, it, they have they have a character. So here we go again. P. I'm going to click here. Option. Click down. I'm going to close that shape. I'm going to select it. Right click. Uh, and arrange. Send to back. And then I almost forgot to save again. We're pretty far down. Okay, so now if I wanted to, um, I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to create a new layer only because I don't want to undo anything that I've already done on that layer. What I'm going to do is hit the P key. I'm going to come in here and draw his fin. And then I'm going to hit escape. Yeah, it. I, I've been working in Illustrator for a stupid amount of time, um, and trust me, what they have going on in Illust what they have going on in Illustrator now is it's 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 way better. It's way more approachable. Um, we don't need that. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this back on. And you see how we have our character coming together. I'm going to grab that fin. I'm going to, again, I'm going to grab that little marker here on all the way to the right. I'm going to drag down to the dolphin layer. And that's good there. So now I'm going to turn that visibility off. And now I'm going to grab the black. I want a black circle. Now that my colors are both black, what I'm gonna do is come up to the shape tool and create an ellipse. Make sure I'm on the correct layer. Create this ellipse, boom. 
I'm going to move that out of the way for now, because then what I'm going to do is make another ellipse, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stroke, because we just don't need the stroke on e either one of these. And if we put this in place, and I'm going to change the color just so we can see what happens uh, when I'm doing what I'm trying to do. I'm going to scale that up just a little bit. I'm going to put this in place, right? Actually, we can just leave that just like that. And if I turn this color white, we can be done. Because in that way, what I was going to do is cut this out, but we don't need to. Because if I turn this on, if I wanted to change the color of his eyeball, I don't know, or maybe let's go a little red. Maybe he's, you know, maybe he had a long night. And that's why I would want to leave this. Now what I'm going to do is click on the, uh, on the little um, specular light on his pupil. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to double tap to go into the eye. Now I'm going to paste that in there. And the reason I did that is because now if I ever want to move this eye, they're all in the same uh, in the same group. And now that all of that is done, what I'm going to do is hit delete there. And again, option or alt, click and drag to make a direct copy. Or you can, you know, you can always go up to edit copy and edit paste. But this um, using the, the alt key. Um, is the fast way of doing that. So now I'm going to scale that down, put it in place. He's looking kind of crazy, huh? I guess what I could do is, let's go ahead and take it out of there. Well, no, let's leave it there because the scaling is right. I'm going to tap that. I'm going to click on the eye. I'm going to click on the eyelid. I'm going to do a right click, arrange, send to back. And there's our so far what we have and now again i'm going to go ahead and hide that because we have this little belly area here so real fast what i'm going to do is grab the pen tool switch these double tap get black okay Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. I'm going to hit uh, escape, A, and I'm going to drag this into place. And you see here how sometimes these curves can be just a little too, well, no, that's pretty good there. I'm going to bring this in. But if you're trying to work one of these uh, curves and it's just not quite doing what you're asking it to do, like here, you see how it goes. Where's the handle? There it is. Okay. Drag that down like that and do like this. But again, if I had the pen tool and I just, that curve was just a little too, um, uh, too curvy, you can also come in here and add another point and you can manipulate it that way. But I think that curve was fine. So now what we want to do is 
let's turn this back on so we can figure out how this is going to work. And you see how I don't have all the answers all the time. I just know kind of what, I just kind of know what I'm looking for. And sometimes I'll use, oops, sometimes I'll use the mouse to move the, the, the objects. Sometimes I'll use the, the arrow keys to be a little more, um, a little more exact. But yeah, um, all we're doing is we're, we're, if you selected the dolphin with everything in it, then you could select a round ending for the lines, a cap. Yeah. Would they all change or would it? So, uh, DT is asking, let me add that there. DT is asking if you selected the whole dolphin with everything in it, and then uh, could you select a round ending or the cap? Uh, would they all change? Yeah. Uh, or would it look, or it wouldn't work like that? Yeah. Everything that you have selected, if you make, um, if you make any edits to a shape or a line, a stroke, uh, anything, if it's selected, whatever the change is, that is going to affect everything that's selected and it will leave everything away. It will leave everything that you don't have selected, it'll leave it alone. So for example, if I wanted to, I'm gonna go ahead and click the mouth or the uh, the little cheek lines here and the and the fin or the flipper. This is the fin, this is the flipper. Um, and I'm going to go into the stroke here. And if I click round, you see how it rounded off the caps or we can go square. But then you notice down here how this one is still squared off. Um, I think what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to round this one off too. That's a good question, uh, DT. Um, and then if we wanted to, we can select the whole thing and then do round caps and it'll round off all the caps for everything. Um, unless it's, it's not going to round off the corners that we created here. Uh, if we wanted to, again, if we wanted to, I hit the A key for the direct select tool. And if I select this anchor point here, you see this little dot here. If I drag that up and down, it's going to affect that angle too. So that's a very fast way to get rounded, uh, rounded corners. Okay, let's go back to his belly. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click on the fill. And if I, there's a way to, nah, we'll do that later. The belly is a little lighter, click okay. Okay, so this is where we have to figure out how we're going to um, figure, how we're gonna make this look normal, right? First thing I'm gonna do is select the belly and I'm gonna drag it down to be on the same layer as everything else. I'm gonna click his mouth and even that cheek. I'm gonna right click, arrange, bring to front. Okay, so now we know that this is happening. So we have to figure out how to get this color in here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that that is selected. I'm gonna hit the P key for the pen tool. I'm going to hit the option key, click and drag up. And you see how you can accidentally affect things. That's why I like to do this um, on a different layer. But since I'm trying to figure out um, how or where these things go, this I'm just gonna get really super sloppy right now. Okay, hang on. 
whatever this is, this is that mouth. Okay, cool. Here we go. Pen. Now watch this. This is like sometimes when something is just being a real pain, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the option key, click on that anchor point. And I'm just going to create a couple more anchor points out here. And then I'm going to go up here and close the shape. Or I thought I was going to close the shape. Let's try that again. Pen tool. Click on that, click on that, and now we have our shape. Okay, and A key. Put that up there in place. I'm gonna grab this anchor point that's just kind of random. I'll put that in place. Put that there. And we probably don't need this one, so I'm going to hit the P key for the pen tool, click to delete it. I'm going to come up here to this one, hit the Option key or Alt key, depending on your computer. Click and drag there. A key for the Direct Select tool. Grab that handle, break that curve. Okay. And there's a couple little bits here where we can clean up a little better. So let's go ahead and move that. Or actually, smooth that out a little bit more. Huh, there you go. There we go. So there's our pink little dolphin. And like I say on my videos, and it's just that simple. There you go. Um, that's it for me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, this little community that we're building up is, is one of the greatest joys that I've ever been a part of. And I say that from my heart for real. Um, uh yeah we're gonna and the fun is just starting that's what's cool the fun is just starting um so yeah anyway i'm gonna go finish drinking my water i'm gonna go record my video for monday slash tuesday and you guys thanks for hanging out for real take care i'll see you and like i always say i hope this video finds you safe and i hope this video finds you healthy I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Uh, and I'll see you guys really, really soon.